Howdy gang and welcome back to another video. Today I have a question for my Pokemon viewers. Why does everyone seem to hate Verlicify? Let's get into it. This is going to be interesting. And before we do, be sure to subscribe because it really helps me out. And let's get into this. All right, gang. So why does everyone seem to hate Verlicify? I know, I know. Pacer, there's a Verlicify controversy. Well, yes, but I'm not entirely sure what that is. So let's Google it, shall we? All right, gang. Now, we're here. I am a bit confused. So, let's figure this out. Okay, so first thing we see is stuff like this. Verlis bad. We need to talk about Verlicify. Very exacerbated face. Verlicify, YouTube's biggest narcissist and liar. All three of these are from the last two years. 2022, 2023, and 2023. Interesting. But how exactly do they rate in terms of accuracy? Now, I would like to note that I have watched Verlicify's videos before, and yes, I think he can have a bit of a uh, attitude at times, but don't we all? I mean... You don't know what a person's been through. Maybe they have an attitude for a reason. But I'm not sure about the narcissist thing. I mean, yeah, you know, he does come across as maybe having a bit of an ego. But, I mean, think about it. Don't we all have some kind of ego? <laughs> I don't understand. But... Let me figure this out with you guys. Why does everyone hate Verlicify? Alrighty, let's check this one out. Verlicify Drama. This one is from six months ago. Okay. It says, so I just saw uh, Pichal's video about why Pokemon World's was bad, and at the start he says, Hi, Verlis. Verlicify is all about the drama, trying to get views off other big PokeTubers' names since he fell off. Probably because of all the drama. He hates Wolf. I'm guessing that's a reference to Wolfie VGC. I could be wrong. So I searched his channel and saw this video with PC in the thumbnail laughing face. He's crying about rare candies. LOL. Okay, what's going on here? It says, using rare candies invalidates the Nuzlocke challenge. Well, if it causes problems for a Nuzlocke challenge, wouldn't it make sense to maybe voice your concerns about that? Now, I've never seen this particular video, but it does feel like just from the title alone, he's simply voicing concerns. But again, I have watched his videos before, and sometimes he can come across as maybe having an attitude to a degree. So we don't know what's going on in that video because I've never seen it. But if we go to the comments here, Verlicify Drama isn't new. Just ignore that guy and move on. <laughs> LOL, this post has more likes than the video on YouTube, laughing face. It doesn't nullify the challenge, though. He's looking for attention, I guarantee. Okay, this is interesting. Alright, so my main question is why? Why are they saying things like that? So... 
People saying he's just trying to get attention. I get that part. Maybe, you know, maybe they're right, maybe they're wrong. But we have no idea why he said all that. Maybe he has a legitimate reason for thinking Rare Candies nullify a Nuzlocke challenge. I don't know. I'm not really sure how Nuzlocke challenges work, but that is why I said I have a question for you guys. And part of that is figuring this out. Now, what it also says here is Verlicify drama isn't new, which tells me, hey, he's been talking about issues for a while. Now, are these issues, you know, valid issues? Maybe. Are they not valid issues? Maybe. I guess it depends on the issue, but it also could depend on the person listening to what he's saying, whether they think it's a valid issue or not. Now, if they were already a, you know, a hater, then yeah, they'll probably say, this guy's not being honest. You know, this guy's just wanting attention. But maybe he's trying to say something genuine. We don't know. Now, personally, I would like to reiterate that in my experience watching his videos, in my opinion, he does come across as maybe having a bit of an attitude at times, but I'm not entirely sure, you know, why people say it's drama. But, I mean, that's the question here. Now, I'm not really seeing any answers here, but it does say... Wouldn't be the first time he's done that. No one takes this clown seriously, and it's for good reasons. His entire income depends on rage-baiting Pokemon fans, and these guys keep falling for it. Okay. I don't get it. <laughs> if he's rage-baiting then why does he still have so many subscribers if all he if all he's doing is rage baiting huh maybe he has valid points in between the rage baitings maybe he's not rage baiting at all maybe that's just this person's opinion i don't know i mean sure he does sound like he's complaining a bunch i'll give them that much I mean, he does complain sometimes, but not all the time. I mean, sometimes he has valid points. Take his video on Legends, for example. Legends is not the best Pokemon game, in my opinion, either. So he does have some valid points. I'm not a fan of Legends. I never even finished it, but that's just me says here, dude uses an 11-year-old Reddit post to try and validate his point. Plus, he calls himself the only honest PokeTuber left. Which usually means he lies and manipulates people. Now, I don't know why people would say he's lying and manipulating, but let me know in the comments if there's some context to that I'm missing. All right, gang. We found an article It says here, Verlicify, Pokemon's cheating problem keeps getting worse. And this is recent. This February, actually. All right. It said, the video by Verlicify titled Pokemon's cheating problem keeps getting worse. Highlights the increasing prevalence of cheating in the Pokemon community. Okay, so he's talking about cheating in the Pokemon community, something he does a lot, at least from what I can tell. I'm not entirely sure how that's rage baiting, but moving on. Verlicify, a popular Pokemon YouTuber. <laughs> that phrasing is kind of amusing because he's not really popular. I mean, sure, he has hundreds of thousands of subscribers, but he also has a lot of people who just hate him. So 
I'm not entirely sure popular Pokemon YouTuber would be entirely accurate, but I suppose. Has been vocal about his opposition to cheating and has faced backlash from the community as a result. Okay. He discusses recent disqualifications, exposed cheaters, and the response from the community, which he describes as deranged and defensive of cheating. Okie dokie. All right, so big question for me. What the heck? You know, if all he's doing is calling out cheating and calling out issues, why do people hate him so much? I don't understand. I mean, sure, maybe he has a bit of an attitude. Maybe he has a bit of an ego. But don't we all? And honestly, I don't understand. I mean, just let me know. Why do people hate this guy? And I would like to note that I did get a comment once about Verlicify in a previous video. Give me a sec to find it. All right, gang, found some. This one from Crisp Bacon. I hope I pronounced that right. Verlicify is the most reactive and inflammatory PokeTuber. He's so jaded from Game Freak not catering to what he wants in the game. Instead of taking a break from the franchise, he just gets more and more frustrated, and his community is just an echo chamber for his opinions. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say he's jaded from Game Freak not catering to what he wants, but that is just my opinion. I must admit, I'm not entirely sure why people hate this guy so much. <laughs> I just don't understand. <laughs> this person, probably not, from Kyle Joseph. It's for Lissify. He could have the confirmation of the Pokemon company itself on his side and still be wrong. This one from Is Leah. You could literally tell him the answer to every question on an exam, and he'll still find a way to fail, crying face. So, the comments were clearly not very nice to Verlis, and I must say, he is someone who seems to react a lot to certain things, but... I'm not entirely sure about the inflammatory part, so I will give you the reactive. But the inflammatory, I'm just not sure I agree with that. But <clears throat> that aside, let me know why you think the community hates Felicify so much. I'd love to hear your opinions. So let me know down in the comments below. And while you're at it, be sure to subscribe, because it really helps me out. And I will see you in the next one.